Hi boys and girls. Today we're gonna make oatmeal bites and Finn is gonna help me. <laughs> so you need a couple ingredients. So we're gonna have, this is oatmeal, but we actually ground our oatmeal up so it's like in little tiny pieces, but you don't have to grind it up. And then we have, what's this one? Peanut butter. Peanut butter, we need a half a cup. We already put it in our half cup right there. And then we need cinnamon. And then you need um, vanilla yogurt, but I don't have vanilla yogurt. I just have regular plain yogurt. So we are actually gonna add a fifth ingredient, but you don't have to add this. We're actually gonna add a little bit of honey to ours just so that it gives this uh, plain yogurt a little bit of flavor, a little bit of sweetness. All right, so should we get started? All right, I mean, I so. Guess. <laughs> All right, so here, go ahead and pour in your oats. Right, it's a lot of oats. Okay, and then we're gonna have to put the peanut butter in, and this part is a little bit harder because it's so sticky in there. It's kind of hard to get it out. I'm gonna try to get it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now all the peanut butter is just sticking to the oats. It looks like we're gonna need another spoon to help get that peanut butter out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's so sticky. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Sheesh. Here, let's see. That's a lot of. I'll try to get it all out. Oh well, my goodness. Why are the peanut butter parts just is covered in oats? Because it of is. Because <laughs> it's so, so sticky, right? Mm hmm. All right, I think we got most of our peanut butter out now. See, it's mostly out now. And then. Oh yeah, that is funny. Can you see? It's already trying to make a ball right there. So then next... So you don't need to form a ball with the peanut butter. <laughs> it's already ready to go, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so next you're going to use the teaspoon and get yourself a nice scoop of cinnamon in there. Ooh, that is a very big scoop. Okay, go ahead and dump that in there. They're going to be very cinnamony when we're done. Okay, and then... You are going to put your yogurt in there. Oh yeah, dump it in there. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's so thick. <laughs> this one is a little hard to get all the ingredients out. Everything's a little bit sticky. Except for the oats. Except for the oats, huh? And the cinnamon. And the cinnamon. That was easy to get in there, wasn't it? And then, so we have, so far we have our oats, and we have our peanut butter, and our cinnamon, and our yogurt. And since our yogurt was unflavored, we're just going to add a few squirts of honey in there. Do you want to squirt some honey in? He's going to squirt the honey in there. It's... <laughs> It's oh, you know what? Why is it so tricky? You know why? Because this is a brand new oh. honey that I just bought, and it has oh. a lid on it. It was a fake out. True. <laughs> I gotta pour that lid. Take that lid off, otherwise. Oh my it's gosh! It's going that, to come out. It's like covered in honey. It the, is. The tops. All are right, now you can pour it out. Boom! 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 Hmm. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit more. There you go. I think that's good. All right, so now you're gonna mix. Go ahead and mix. Okay. Probably gonna be a little hard to stir because all the ingredients are thick. That is true. Especially with one spoon. <laughs> Ooh, it's starting to mix together a little bit. Mmm, it smells really good. Here, let's see. Let me help you a little bit. I don't really bit. smell anything, honestly. Oh, you don't really smell it? I think it smells really good. You can kind of smell the yogurt and the peanut butter. Yeah, I can smell the yogurt. Yeah, the yogurt's pretty strong. And the peanut butter. I never knew that yogurt smells.
Are you trying to make one giant ball with it? <laughs> what if I made a giant ball and then we just cut slices off of it? <laughs> that would, then it would be a pe peanut butter ball. Ball. That's true. It wouldn't be much of a an oatmeal bite, right? Mm, yeah. All right. So it's getting nice and mixed in there. Look, it's almost starting to be like the Play-Doh where it's like sticking together. So then here comes the fun part, the messy part. We are going to the part I hate get in the there most. with our fingers and we are going to make little balls with this stuff. So we are going to get in there and really mix it together. So you're making a giant ball. It is. It's almost like a giant ball now. Do you see that? I'm going to get in there and mix it up. You pur purposely made it into a giant ball. <laughs> and it's getting a little sticky, so I'm going to roll it into my oats here at the bottom. And then can you see that? It's a giant ball. That's what it, it is. It is a giant ball, isn't it? So we're going to make it into smaller ones now so I'm gonna give you a little clump and then you can make it in so we're gonna make our our bites kind of big but you could actually make really teeny ones if you wanted to like this one's kind of big but if that's too big for you to bite into you could just make a really tiny tiny one like really small like a little little tiny one or you could make some itty bitty oh my goodness Look at how small that one is. It's like almost the size of a piece of cereal. It's so little. You could make these really tiny ones to eat, or you could make a big one that you're gonna just take bites out of. It just depends on what you want. I kind of like these itty bitty ones since they are just like one little bite sized. So I think I'm gonna make a few little itty bitty ones. It's hard to actually shape them into circles. It is a little bit, huh? But it's kind of fun. It's a lot like playing with Play-Doh. Feels kind of the same. And your hands don't really get dirty because there's so many oats in there that it doesn't stick to your hands. So it's kind of nice. I have a little bit of yogurt on the back from when I put my hands in there before, but otherwise, I mean, I don't really have that much on my hands. Since when did you make a Oh yeah, look, a your hands are all clean. All right, so now, you can keep doing that until you have a whole bunch of balls. Like ours are all different little si sizes. And then you can let them dry just a little bit. And Since then you why can... did you make a video on how to make Play-Doh? Oh, we haven't made a video on how to make Play-Doh. Oh, oh, we could do that one day, though. That would be fun. All right, so you can let them dry out a little bit, or you can eat them fresh. I want to try mine right away. I'm going to try one of the itty-bitty ones. Why don't you try one, too? You want to try that one? Yeah, it's my it's my personal masterpiece. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 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 Very peanut buttery. Why don't you try it? See what you think. I'm trying to still mm. mold it into a a ball. Mm. It was very good. I like that a lot. Go ahead and try a little bit. Little taste. You want to try one of the little tiny ones? I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit. You're gonna wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's not so sure. Sometimes that happens. But I think it's always good if you're not sure if you're gonna like something or not. You won't know until you try it. So I always like to take just look a teeny, teeny, tiny bite, and then I can decide if I like it. I think that's always a good idea. All right, boys and girls, well, I hope you enjoyed our video on how to make these oatmeal bites. Give it a try, okay? Bye.